at if it's not broken, don't fix it. And for as long as movies have existed, uh, since motion pictures were invented, we got the frame rate thing figured out pretty quickly and perfected pretty quickly to create the illusion of movement and create what feels like you being transported as a viewer to some other world, some other lifetime that you get to experience that can feel almost dreamlike, that can feel like it's not exactly reality. You're somewhere else. The escapism, the surrealness, the immersion all comes, some would argue, from this illusion of movement. And I would argue that that is what makes the magic of movies, is that illusion of movement. In 1887, Edward Moybridge, maybe butchering that, created what was the first motion picture. And it was this. It was a man, a horse jockey, riding his horse. It is a series of images that is projected and played in a sequence and at a certain speed that creates the illusion of movement. And that illusion of movement goes on to be used by filmmakers and cinematographers wielding some of the first versions of cameras to create first motion pictures that are shown in cinemas and theaters and starts off the chain reaction of a brand new art form and medium being born. Since the moment a motion picture was created, we understood and filmmakers understood that this illusion of movement and how the series of images were played back and projected to an audience is in part what created the language of this art form is in part what created what would later be referred to as movie magic. 